The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewer, welcome to Chungu Chajami. My name is Betty Akuku, I'm your host. Today, it is an awesome day, very lovely. We have guests in studio. I would like you to join us in our conversation today. Our SMS line is 21144. We're going to be discussing about leadership succession in the church. With me, I have guests on my left. Gentlemen, I would like you to introduce them yourselves, starting with you. Thank you very much. Um, my name is uh, Dr. Bishop Charles Mukuka mm -hmm. from Zambia. And uh, it's always a pleasure to be hosted by GBS. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Betty. Mm -hmm. My name's is Bishop Delphine Nyambisa from Kenya. I minister with a ministry called Restoration of Oasis Worship Center. Mm -hmm. I'm the presiding bishop worldwide. Thank you. Most welcome to the show. Yes, thank you. I also have a counselor with me in the studio. Uh, thank you for this time. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Wycliffe, and I welcome all of you to uh, join us and have a good time with us. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Much. I hope to really learn a lot mm. from you this day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talking about leadership mm. in the church. Mm. Uh, who can we actually say are our leaders in the church? Because we have bishops, we have pastors, mm. we have our pastor's wives, mm. we also have doctors and apostles. Mm. Do we say all these are our leaders? Yes. They are all <laughs> yes. our leaders. Yes. Okay. I would again ask, how do you qualify to become mm. a leader? Because I know that uh, when you get to church, Mm. There's a process, you go to Sunday school, then you become a big person, mm. so you go to the big church, mm. and life is like that, you, you are born again, you mm. continue living your life. At what stage mm. do you qualify to become a leader? Um, thank you very much. Yes. Um, to start with, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you see leadership in the church, it is quite key. Okay. And uh, uh, if you look at uh, the book of, uh, you know, the, 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 the Old Testament, mm -hmm. we find uh, uh, Malachi crossing the book, yeah, mm -hmm. crossing the Old uh, uh, Testament. Mm -hmm. Before he passes on to Matthew, yes. uh, we have 400 years of silence mm -hmm. in between. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, the last words of Malachi are very key. Are very key. Mm -hmm. Those are the words that uh, we as leaders we must pay attention to. Where he begin to say that uh, you know God will turn the hearts of the father mm -hmm. to the son. Mm -hmm. and the heart of the son to the father. Okay. He's saying that go, that, 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 there has to be an exchange of hearts. So what am I saying? In the church, until you reach at a point mm -hmm. where you stop hearing the voice of your pastor and you begin to hear the voice of your father. Okay, <laughs> so there is a father and a pastor in the church. Yes. So at that point, when you get to that level, you qualify to be a leader. And, okay. and mm -hmm. God is saying to Joshua, mm -hmm. this, this book of the law mm -hmm. should not depart from your mouth. Okay. Now, post, jo yes. post, post, bishop. Yes. Bishop Nyamisa, there is one thing. What, at what stage, after I have been going to church, do I qualify? 
and now declare or announce that I am a leader? There is one thing mm -hmm. you must understand first. Okay. Readers mm -hmm. are not born. Oh. Readers mm -hmm. are made. Okay. So in a readership. So it is not a talent. It's not a talent. That I would say I was born and as people have there been observing me, I look like I'm a leader. There is nobody who was born a reader. Okay. Readers are made. Okay. So you must pass through a process for you to qualify to become a reader. Mm -hmm. And before you, come a re you become a reader, mm -hmm. you must have somebody who is giving you the direction to become what he wants you to be. Okay. We have different kinds of readership. So I have to rely, somebody has to tell me yes. that I think you are called to be a leader. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we'll come back to that. <laughs> yes, or Councillor. Listening <coughs> to this conversation, um, how does one qualify to become a leader? Yeah, actually, uh, okay, there are many qualifications we may <laughs> think about. Mm -hmm. But no, there is one qualification which is very important. Mm -hmm. And this qualification is that one must be truly born again. That one we cannot overlook. <laughs> because actually, even in the Bible, there are many false pastors, mm -hmm. many false deacons, elders, you know. Mm -hmm. They are not truly born again, in the but Bible? they are leaders. In the Bible? Even in the churches. Okay. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he can even lead people very well. He can do many things. Mm -hmm. But if he's not truly born again, then... We don't say this is a leader. <laughs> I should come back to that point because what I'm hearing is that there are people who are truly born again and there are people who fake. Who their are born being. againist. Okay. Born againist. <laughs> 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 so Bishop Nyamisa, you had mentioned yeah. that I need to rely on somebody yeah. to actually uh, tell me that when I look at this and this, you have qualified to be a leader. What are these that someone needs to look at and actually agree? Because sometimes uh, when I hear our counselor saying that you need to be truly born again, I have seen leaders in the church and I've heard many people talk about leaders in the church saying, ah, this one does not deserve to be a leader. I don't know what is it that you need to look out for to actually agree with you who is going to tell somebody you have qualified, you know. Could it be that you could also make a mistake? There is one thing I want to take you to, mm -hmm. to God himself. Mm -hmm. In the book of First Joshua. Okay. When God was appointing Joshua, mm -hmm. when it starts in Joshua 1, he says, mm -hmm. Joshua, the servant of M the, the son of Nun. Mm -hmm. Then he went, he goes on and he says, mm -hmm. Joshua, mm -hmm. the servant of Moses. Mm -hmm. So you must serve under a certain grace for you to flow in that grace, to become a reader in that grace. Okay. So that's why I said there is so many different kinds of readership. Mm -hmm. But in the church, mm -hmm. you must serve under a certain grace for you to qualify to be a reader in that church. Okay. And in church, we don't elect leaders. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, it should be understood. There are some churches which elect, mm -hmm. but according to me, mm -hmm. According to the book, mm -hmm. according to the heart of God, mm -hmm. God okay. has not been elected. We'll there. come back to that. Yes. Dr. Charles, Yes, please. could it be <clears throat> that the person who calls you and say, mm -hmm. I think you qualify to be a leader, could that person be wrong in their appointment now that we do um, not elect? They may not be wrong. Mm -hmm. They may be right. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, there are three dimensions okay. in the church mm -hmm. that we must look at. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, number one, in the church, we must look at the dimension of uh, a father. We must also look at the dimension of, uh, you know, a son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know, we, we, we need the Paul's dimension. And we also need the Timoth dimension. We also need the Barnabas dimension. You get the point? Mm -hmm. So, a, 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 a Paul is your father. Mm -hmm. And uh, a father in the church is a rebuking father. is a correcting father. Mm -hmm. Yeah? is an appointing father. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. And also, when you look at uh, the Barnabas dimension, Barnabas is uh, uh, a friend, is a friend, the level of a friend. Mm -hmm. Somebody who can uh, look straight into your eyes and rebuke you sharply as a friend to say, we are going to church, but uh, let me tell you, this thing, it is not right. You need that. Mm -hmm. And you also need a Timoth dimension. Somebody who is, uh, you know, under you. Somebody who can challenge you. If your Timothy can pray, let's say, for three hours, mm -hmm. you need to rise up. <laughs> so leadership, uh, leadership in the church, mm -hmm. <coughs> it is quite key. Mm -hmm. Because uh, 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 it's more like a pastoral ministry. Mm -hmm. Pastoral ministry, it is not a career. It is a calling. It is a calling. It is a calling. So you may be called by God. Mm -hmm. And uh, the people that are, who are going to serve under you or at your feet, uh, they, they, they are going to be appointed by you, by the set man. Okay. I yes. need to get to a counselor and ask, mm -hmm. yeah. you're talking about leadership succession yeah. in yes. the church. Yes. Why must we have leaders being succeeded when we have already appointed and we are sure we have the right leaders? Why must we think about this even as a church? Mm, as a church, as I have said from the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a church is totally different from this world. Yes. And uh, when we think about the totality of the word of God, we have to think about it is not an individual who should lead, who should guide, or sh who should do something. Mm -hmm. But we need, you know, to remove all human beings okay. and bring in God. Because actually when you think about the blood of Jesus Christ which he shed on the cross, you know, he crucified all of us on the cross. Mm -hmm. So only Jesus should remain. And only Jesus is the one who should be working and in the Jesus, church. And Jesus Jesus' people. Yeah, through yes. people, he you know. through people. <laughs> but they have to acknowledge clearly mm -hmm. it is Jesus who is only working and doing everything in our life. Not, you know, themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, but now this Jesus lives inside of a human mm. body. So when we look at this person, mm. I had asked you how that leader mm. needs to be qualified mm. such that we can actually agree and say, yes, Dr. Charles is a worthy leader. Mm. Yes, Bishop Nyambisa is the one who should mm. be the leader and the bishop and overseer of all these mm. churches, right? Mm. So once we have agreed mm. that we have this leader, we have this bishop, how do why must we plan, you know, mm -hmm. that ah, something will happen, so we need to, you know, get ready and prepare for a succession plan like this? Mm -hmm. Why must we have this in the church? Because if God is the one who appoints, like you were saying, and God is the one who is a leader, as mm -hmm. you were saying, mm -hmm. so go, should God from heaven mm -hmm. speak when people are gathering and say, <laughs> hello, this <coughs> is and this church, eh? I have appointed so and so. Yeah. Why should... <laughs> You know? um, <laughs> to start with, mm -hmm. um, Betty yes, doctor. and uh, the viewers outside there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, God is committed to whatsoever he has promised. Okay. When uh, God has said something, he must make sure he that fulfills. he fulfills it. Mm -hmm. When he promises, he fulfills. When he speaks, he does. Okay. So, and when God has started something, you know, we have, we, we, the, the little experience mm -hmm. I've had, I, I, I've had mm -hmm. in ministry, mm -hmm. um, by the grace of God, mm -hmm. I've traveled mm -hmm. to many countries, mm -hmm. many nations, mm -hmm. you know, doing God's work. Okay. And uh, in this office of leadership, I have seen, I have seen, People who started well, mm -hmm. and uh, at a certain level, they are no longer. Okay. Get the point? Mm -hmm. It's like what, whatsoever they started, it died a natural death. Or if that person, the set man, who natural started death. it, died. <laughs> it was not killed. Also, it was not killed, but also you find it that the ministry death. or the company... <laughs> Or whatsoever is started, mm -hmm. it dies a natural death. Mm -hmm. And the people who are passing, they will be just, uh, you know. So why? Why? Why would they die naturally? 
Yeah, the, the, because and it not dies. to be killed by the by the beginners. Yes, it <laughs> dies because they never took time to prepare someone to succeed them. Okay. Someone to take over okay. from them. So their leadership uh, organizations died mm -hmm. because they were not there. Yes. Okay. Bishop. Um, there is one thing I want you, Betty, to understand and the viewers. Mm -hmm. In a church, yes. we move with a vision. Okay. You cannot just go and say now, tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'm just opening a church. But who gives the vision, Bishop? God. God gives the vision. He gives to who? Because a lot of people, today you'll pray for somebody, yes. Dr. Charles, mm -hmm. and this person gets healed. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow you're opening a church, healing ministry. Mm -hmm. You know? Is that how you base your mission and your vision of your church? If it were like that, mm -hmm. let me just say, <laughs> mm -hmm. if it were like that, mm -hmm. during the days of Paul, Apostle Paul. Yes, there would and, be so uh, many ministries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Paul, Peter, those guys, they did uh, tremendous miracles. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if they were in our generation, where... Could, uh, Peter, we see Peter passing through and, uh, you know, they put the dead bodies there and his shadow, you know, wakes, you know, the dead person up, back to life. Mm -hmm. uh, if it were in our generation, mm -hmm. we could have, I'm sure, had someone mm -hmm. by now mm -hmm. with a ministry, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Shadow ministry. <laughs> you know, shadow we, ministry. We, 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 we have seen uh, what they did uh, handkerchiefs and all that. Okay. But they never built their ministries based on what they did. You get the point? Okay. So mm -hmm. there needs to be a particular foundation the, on which a yes. leader builds their ministry. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So foundation is very important because how would you build on a no foundation? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. without foundation, mm -hmm. the building cannot stand. It cannot stand. Yeah. So this is another reason why they will die naturally. They will die natural death. It's more like uh, what I'm doing right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I have an international ministry yes. in me. Mm -hmm. yeah, you see? Yes. I have the ministry I'm leading. Yeah? So, I must, know, I must not deceive myself mm -hmm. to say, I'm going to be alive forever. No. One day, as the Bible says, it is appointed unto every man. As long as you are a man, as long as you are a woman, mm -hmm. be it a bishop, be it a c-shop, be it a d-shop, be it a whichever. A t-shop. <laughs> you are going to die one day. But before you die, mm -hmm. is there anyone who will take over from you so that you. the vision continues? I hear you. Pastor Whitley. <laughs> yes. Bishop is saying the reason these churches or leadership positions died naturally mm -hmm. is because there was never foundation. What foundation are you supposed to build your ministry on? And why do they just die? Okay, when we are talking about succession, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you see Jesus Christ after he died, mm -hmm. there is uh, the disciples, yeah? Mm -hmm. There is one of the disciples who was called Judah. And this Judah, you know, when he died, the apostle came up to actually appoint someone and then they said, this will succeed who? <laughs> will be the apostle. Yes. But now, if you check in the book of Acts, there is no, nothing mentioned about what? That apostle. Now, when you look at it, you know, the heart of God was to use apostle Paul. God was preparing apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. And God knew very well, I want to use apostle Paul to spread this gospel to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at the book of Acts, it's talking about the world of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, individuals are working outwardly, but now the Holy Spirit is the one which is working in the Acts of Apostles. So when we think about uh, leadership, we are talking about, in the, like in the book of Acts, we are talking about, you know, the Holy Spirit working in individual according to the will of God, not according to the will of man. Mm -hmm. Always, you know, like the will of Peter, the will of Peter to appoint, you know, this apostle was not right. Mm. 
But on the will of God, of, of Jesus. yes, they mm. made a mistake <laughs> to, mm. to appoint someone whom really God did not want to use. Mm -hmm. God was preparing Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is why I'm saying like this way, everything that is done by God, mm -hmm. that is the Holy Spirit, mm. You know, that is the right leadership. That is, longer. That is the right leadership. If, if God, you know Jesus God, is the foundation, why would such organizations collapse? Why would such churches collapse? You see, if we, we, have, we have like our senior pastor. Mm -hmm. One time he was sick. And he was thinking of, you know, this <laughs> ministry is uh, international. Mm -hmm. He was thinking of uh, who will lead this church. Mm -hmm. But now in his heart, he was very much confident. Ah, I have, you know, many pastors. And among all these pastors, there is someone God is going to you to use to guide the church. Mm -hmm. So in his heart, he was not worried about anything. And then uh, when he's uh, dealing with the CLF, CLF is a meeting of pastors worldwide. He says, you know, even after I die, God can use even what? God can use even, you know, these uh, uh, other pastors, you know, from other churches, you know, mm -hmm. to accomplish his will, mm -hmm. his will. So his so, mind is not so fixed. So his, his mind is connected with God. Okay. Actually, he knows very clearly mm -hmm. God is working through the Holy Spirit. To this is the reason I'm asking, work. what is the criteria of choosing this person, especially the one who is going to take after you, the one who is going to succeed you when you die? Is there a way that the uh, bishops and the doctors and the people in leadership currently are preparing the people to take after them? That's why I came on the issue of yes. a bishop. Mm -hmm. This person, mm -hmm. first we must understand this, when Jesus was telling Peter, he said, I'll build my church. It is not our church. It is Christ's church. Mm -hmm. On the foundation mm -hmm. of Peter. Mm -hmm. So the church, first and foremost, the figures and you to understand, the church belongs to Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the power of the Holy Ghost, or the power of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. enters into a person like Paul, mm -hmm. even if Paul received the Holy Spirit when he met Jesus on the way, mm -hmm. he was sent to somebody again mm -hmm. for him to receive his eyesight, to become a mentor over him. Mm -hmm. Now this person you want to take over from you must have been with you, must have known you, must have known the vision of the church, must also be accepted by God. I get you, Bishop. Yes. When I listened to the scripture he was mentioning, mm -hmm. he was saying that apostle, what, that Peter, mm -hmm. Peter rushed, or rather he appointed someone whom Jesus did not prepare to use already. Agreed. He wanted to use Apostle Paul, Agreed. who was, I think, in the world mm -hmm. those days. Yeah. And oh, the point God. you are bringing in, yeah. he had not yet met with a person who was going to open up his eyes. Yeah. So even though Peter and Jesus were together, yeah. probably Peter saw the life of this other person and to him, according to him, it was pleasing and he judged that God could use him. But then now Jesus rejects this and gets somebody who has not been an apostle. A process. I mm -hmm. told you of a process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is a man of order. Okay. If you look in the book of Genesis, in creation, God created man on his own image. Mm -hmm. He took time. He gave him dominion. God did not name the animals and what. Yes. He made sure the person he has given power mm -hmm. is the one to name the animals. Mm -hmm. And he gave him orders that you shall be having dominion over the birds of the air, the fish, and the everything mm -hmm. in the land. Mm -hmm. So there is an order of God. Even when God was sending Moses to go to Egypt, mm -hmm. he was not alone. He was with Aaron. I get you, sir. Uh -huh. Dr. Charles, mm -hmm. you mentioned about Timothy and Paul and Barnabas. The and I think it is a very good point. Yes. But when I listen to Pastor, mm -hmm. I, I want to follow you guys. I want to flow mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting a little lost mm -hmm. because be lost. I'm thinking, <laughs> does uh, Timothy mm -hmm. have to be prepared by mm -hmm. Paul? 
Because what, what Peter was, mm. the person Peter was actually proposing mm. might have been one of his close followers. Mm. And he jived his heart that, ah, this one is good mm. to do the work, to succeed Jesus. Um, Does Timothy have to be prepared by Paul? Yes. Okay. He has to be prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll give you a practical example. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, my spiritual father, okay. uh, Dr. Apostle Dr. Patrick Mark O'Neill, mm -hmm. uh, who is a, a, a world leader. Yes. And uh, is based in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he is the general overseer for Heart Apostolic Ministries Network. Okay. It's a powerful network. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has so many sons, so many daughters across the globe. Yeah? But uh, uh, may I proudly say that uh, uh, I'm one of those who have catched his vision. Congratulations. Amen. Mm -hmm. I've catched his vision. Mm -hmm. I've worked with him. I've submitted mm -hmm. at his feet. Mm -hmm. I've obeyed him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, he reached at a point where he stopped traveling to some places. Mm -hmm. He began to send me. Okay. To say, uh, initially, he calls me my Timothy. He says, Timothy, go to this nation. Mm -hmm. Go to this nation. Go to this nation. Go and do this and this. Mm -hmm. Go and do this ordination. Mm -hmm. Go and do this. So he will send me whatsoever, even the, 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 the credential, whatever is required. Mm -hmm. And I go there, I do, and I give a report. Mm -hmm. I know what he wants. I know what he doesn't want. You get the point? Mm -hmm. So, um, when you, before you are appointed, there must be a process. Yes. God mm -hmm. is the God of process. He's mm -hmm. a processor. Yes. And uh, many are the times that many people, even my viewers there, many people, they have mistaken the hand of God into the demonic attack. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What am I saying? Uh, if you had rushed into doing something mm -hmm. and God finds you doing it. Deal with you. Doing it. It's a God of process. Mm -hmm. He asked, he'll pick you, mm -hmm. take you back to point one. Mm -hmm. And he has to make sure mm -hmm. he starts with you and you start with him. Mm -hmm. Now, remember where you had gone. You had acquired houses, you had married, you had children, you had built churches, you had done everything. And God finds you there and he says, I'm not here. You left me. He, so he, he will sounds, pick you. He sounds <coughs> harsh like than a school headmaster. Yeah, <laughs> he will pick you and he take you back to chapter one. And when he takes you to chapter one, you are going to lose that which you acquired through dubious means, to put it in that way. Mm -hmm. You are going to lose your house. You are going to lose sometimes even your marriage. You are going to, because you are passing through a process now. He's processing you. Mm -hmm. He's making you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just as Jesus said that, follow me. That is, the follow me, it is the follow me stage. It's an invitation. Mm -hmm. It's up to you whether to follow or not. But blessed are those who follow. So when you follow, mm -hmm. you come there. Mm -hmm. God begins to make you. And when God is making you, mm -hmm. you make sure he deals with you thoroughly. And uh, until he qualifies you. And when he qualifies you, he has his own sons who are going to confirm it. Okay. To say, now mm -hmm. we need a David here. I have heard you one. mentioning about your mentor. You know, the one whom you follow. Yes. And I know Bishop also has someone that he follows. Mm. I have also had our mm. uh, our counselor mm. who also says he's a pastor mm. and he also has a mm. spiritual father mm. in one of his statements he mentioned that his spiritual father mm. once said that even though he has many pastors mm. he said that god must not necessarily pick out of the pastors he has trained mm. and so he could even pick from one of the pastors mm. who does not belong to his mm. church mm. now that is uh another level I, mm. I want to believe mm. because it sounds to me strange mm. according to me mm. i think that the paul must prepare the timothy mm. so that everything on flows well mm. what is your take my Bishop? take according to what you say mm. to me now mm -hmm. Mm. and my viewers yes is that a timon must be somebody 
who has been with you, who has followed you the vision, who has been working with you, mm -hmm. who knows who you are mm -hmm. and what you want. Okay. And uh, there is one perspective which you must understand. That's mm -hmm. why you are getting lost on the way. Mm -hmm. God uses man to raise another man. Okay. God does not come himself. Mm -hmm. That is why he came on Gen or from Genesis. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when God created man, he gave him dominion. Okay. So you must start from there. That dominion which he gave to man, it still stands that man is his own representative. So God has got his own people. He chooses for himself to do his own job. Okay, man of God. Uh, mm. I know that there are so many mm. believers in the church. Mm -hmm. There are also many leaders in the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them just don't know where to serve. Mm. You know, sometimes you find that you are three or four people at the level of a bishop and you're in one church. So they have to go. But my biggest concern is this. Mm. You are leading and it is well with you and everything else is going on perfectly. But now on the criteria on how do I get this person who takes over when I am gone is my biggest puzzle. Okay. Because will I just wake up one morning and pick out on this person because they have been good to me, because they have served me, because they have followed me, and not pick on the other because they have been tough-headed, because they have not followed well. How sure will you be that it is God who is with you even on this and be able to deny the fact that or agree with the fact that I am human, I could also make mistake? Mm. Yes. How, one, how do I get, how do I wake up mm -hmm. one morning? Because you have said, I mean, I, I mean all of us know, no one, none of us know when we are going to die, mm. right? No one. So you cannot wait until you are 75 and say, I'm dying at 76. I now need to begin to prepare. Mm. How do I pick out this person and begin to prepare them now that you, I, I, it seems like we're in agreement this person needs to be prepared? Mm. I want to tell you this. Bit. Yes, Bishop. In anything you do, before you think of your, of your death, mm -hmm. these are spiritual matters. Okay. And spiritual matters are handled by prayers. Okay. So mm. this person, you must have been in prayers for a long process. God has been speaking to you. He, is, he tells you this is the person. Mm -hmm. But if you so want, God will tell you. God will tell you. In a dream. In a. It, <laughs> there are some people who receive it in a dream. There are some people who see it Because in a the way also God speaks is so funny in the Christian fraternity. I believe it. You know? <laughs> you see, like all of us will go to sleep yeah. and wake up, and He will say, God say to me this. I will say, God say to me this. God say to me this. God say to me this. And our listener will not know where did you people meet with God and did you have different gods because you're all saying different things and you're all purporting to have been told by God. You see? Yeah. Yeah. It's also very, very key. And I think this God is speaks. why God. God speaks. I know he does speak. And he I shows. would wish to know let how me, precisely let me give God you, speaks. Let me give you my example. I wish to know, Bishop, how God speaks. Let because I can also come and say, Bishop, you have spoken and you have said this so and so. But I can also say God spoke to me. Mm. So whose God will we trust? Let me give you an example. Because this is why the church is dying naturally. Right. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I want us to go for a short let break. Me, let me give I want you us example. to go for a very short break. <laughs> we are taking a short break. We'll be right back to take up this discussion. Our SMS line is two double one double four. Please feel free to join us and text in your questions as well. Thank you. Welcome back, viewer. It has been good to have you on the show. As I told you earlier, our SMS line is 21144, and I have bishops, men of God, with me in studio who are helping us a lot, especially in leadership, succession, and the church. Stay tuned and hear and learn more. Before we went on a break, yeah. Bishop, I was so concerned with this issue of God spoke to me. Yes. Because, uh, like I asked you earlier, how do you get this person who is going to succeed you? In our nation and in many nations we know politically, we vote, you know, mm. we elect our leaders. And now you mentioned that you do not vote. 
a vote you don't elect. I don't know whether it is a good thing to vote or elect leaders in the church. What do you think, our councillor? Actually, guide us on that? my view is uh, you can elect, you can vote, but uh, maybe even the person whom you choose, God may not use him. <laughs> oh, so it is okay to vote? You can do anything, you can pray, you <laughs> can do whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, if it is not the person really God wants to use. Mm -hmm. Then it will not last. Yeah. You okay. see, you see so better. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we see the example of God. Mm -hmm. He's telling uh, Samuel. Okay. He said, Samuel, rise up. Go to the house of Jesse. Yeah? Okay. For I have chosen a king for me. Okay. Not for you. Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. So God is saying, I have already chosen. Just go there and confirm, ordain, mm -hmm. anoint mm -hmm. that person. Mm -hmm. And remember, when Saul was going to the house of Jesse, yeah, Jesse had already lined up his children. Yes. Yeah. The mighty ones. The mighty ones. Mm -hmm. Where of of which God rejected them. Yes. So it is actually true that as we choose from. What we can say. God does you not know? look the way we look. Yes. So it means we can actually be wrong on many occasions. And they because these people were speaking to God. Not even no, this one. That's not why the church appearance. became religious. Mm -hmm. That is how the church and the, the Holy Spirit can no longer work. Mm -hmm. You know, now men are working in the church. That because is what they are started. choosing the people who are mighty yes, in their side, the people that they like. Mm -hmm. so now they even saying, you find even pastors, yes. even bishops, mm -hmm. they are not really born again. They are sinners. Yeah, I think even me, if I was somewhere. But they say I'm I a leader. <laughs> they are misleading mm -hmm. people, taking people to hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a very serious problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Because now we overlooked, you know, the will of God. The will of God actually in the Bible, one must be truly born again, must be made holy, righteous, perfect in the eyes of God. That is the first qualification. If this is and the first if qualification, if is this there a way is... to check it? Is there a way to check? Because holiness is with God. <laughs> you know, there holiness must, is you know God. When, when we How are appointing a president, mm -hmm. there must be some qualification for yes. the president. Mm -hmm. When you need a job, there must be a qualification, mm -hmm, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, for so you some, need a leader to succeed. A you. leader mm -hmm. should be the one who is qualified according to the Bible, mm -hmm. not according say, to the will and the, 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 the want of man. Because if it, it, if it is the Bible, mm -hmm. the Bible gives a very clear line. A leader starts when one receives, you know, true forgiveness of sin, and then the Holy Spirit comes in him. This Holy Spirit is Jesus, and this Holy Spirit is a leader. Okay, I hear you. What uh, I am kind of getting <laughs> lost on is that this person needs to be holy. And I'm wondering, as a leader, choosing one who is supposed to succeed me, how can I actually check the holiness of a person? I thought holiness is with God, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Holiness is with God. Uh, How would you check let, let the look, holiness of a person let in church? And the viewers, let mm -hmm. us look at this thing from the God's perspective. From God's perspective. God mm -hmm. himself, I mm -hmm. told you, mm -hmm. God never did, any, after creation of man, mm -hmm. God never did any job. There is an issue of Moses and the sister Miriam mm -hmm. and, the, and the Aaron. Mm -hmm. Moses was married. Okay. When he went... To Okay. And again, he went and married another wife. Mm -hmm. Then now the sister mm -hmm. castigated Moses mm -hmm. and Aaron. Mm -hmm. They said, mm -hmm. do you think you are the only one God speaks to? Mm -hmm. Even as God can speak to. Yes. Because God had chosen Moses as his one of his own. Mm -hmm. He did not rest there. He struck them with the rebels. Okay. But when we try to look from that angle, we are saying this. In the church, yes, we might be wrong as human beings if we are not spiritually mm -hmm. much. Somebody must be spiritually mature. Okay. Yeah. To, you know the problem, what is going on in the, the world today? Mm -hmm. 
It is how baked people who tomorrow wake up, they say you have become so and so. Dr. Charles, mm -hmm. uh, Bishop has brought in spiritual maturity. Yes. A lot of people say you mm -hmm. have to choose a leader who is spiritually mature. Mm -hmm. I, I am really wondering where I'm seated, mm -hmm. how you check spiritual mm -hmm. maturity. Is it when I pray too much, sing too much, give too much, always in the church, dress very well? What is, how do I get this, how could you test this spiritual maturity? Because people will accuse you, mm. doctor, you have appointed this person, mm. but they are spiritually immature. Mm. But what will Bishop Charles said? Uh, I mean, Bishop Nyambisa, Nyambisa mm. he has prayed before mm. God. Mm. And I asked before we went on the break, mm. how does God speak? Mm. I am still waiting to hear the answer mm. of how precisely can I get out to the people and, told, and tell them God has spoken to me precisely mm. in this and this mm. way, you know? Number one. Can mm -hmm. I answer? <laughs> because I was answering. <laughs> Number one, mm -hmm. God speaks. Okay. So God, when God is speaking, mm. God can use anything. To speak. Yes. Okay. God can use any. God can even use a mad person. Mm -hmm. to speak to you. Mm -hmm. God can use a stone. How can I trust that it is God? God. Can, listen, mm -hmm. uh, you, you ought to be sensitive to the voice of God. You ought to be sensitive. And being sensitive means I, have, I must have gotten to the level of spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity. Which I do not know because how to get to. even in the Bible, mm -hmm. it says if anyone desires the office of a bishop, mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All the, those qualifications are there. I have seen one of those them. Those qualifications are there. I if told anyone you. desires the office of a bishop, mm -hmm. number one, mm -hmm. it must be like this. Number by one, the way, and it must not be a novice. By the way, bishop, yeah? sometimes yes. I go to church. Yes. And I also belong to a church. Yes. And I have read that part. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking if I cannot do read those it. things of ha yes. having one wife, mm. you know, once I have done those things, <laughs> mm. does this make me qualified? Because it does not mm. talk about anything to do with spiritual maturity. Mm. If I truly want to be there, mm. I heard you said I need to be spiritually mature. Mm. How do I become spiritually mature? Now do I read I'm, the Bible more? Do listen, I pray a lot? Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, the issue. Now, let's call a spade a spade here. Yes, yeah? please. Like me, mm -hmm. I do not appoint anybody into leadership just like that. Okay. Number one qualification. Mm -hmm. I have said, mm -hmm. is the issue of tithe. Okay. If you see, because only a born again Christian, not mm -hmm. a born againist, mm -hmm. has a revelation and understanding mm -hmm. about tithing. Mm -hmm. Tithing, it is uh, one of the measuring rods okay. that God uses mm -hmm. to test the faithfulness of a person. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, to overlook all these other things, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. You check on this one, because if a person is a constant, constant tither, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. is not a robber. They qualify. Is not a robber because mm -hmm. if you don't pay tithe, sir, ma, mm -hmm. listen, mm -hmm. you are a robber, yes. not a thief, not mm -hmm. a criminal, mm -hmm. not criminology, mm -hmm. <laughs> robberistic. Without guns. You are a robber. They rob without now, guns. Now, mm -hmm. if we, we have so many ministers mm -hmm. of the gospel, mm -hmm. you get the point. Yes. So many ministers of the gospel. You mm -hmm. are a bishop. You are an overseer, mm -hmm. and you are surrounded yourself with leaders who are robbers. <laughs> You get the point. They also, can, it means they also are robber. They will rob you. They will rob you. You are also a robber. Yes. <laughs> How can I? This is. I'm very serious. Mm -hmm. I, I may look sure. young. Yes. But I'm occupying a heavy office. Yes. This is not just a. a by a, the a, way, a, you are a doctor. Yes. Not by. Not just honorary. Yes. It's by books. By qualification. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, and my spiritual father is a doctor as well. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. We, we, what you are in the right standing to speak about yes. spiritual matters. Yes. I hear you. So now, mm -hmm. what we are saying here mm -hmm. is that with me, you may come with your plado, you may come with your jeep, you may come. If you are not a faithful tither, yeah? Forget about leadership. Forget about position. leadership. Yes. Be in the church mm -hmm. and don't go anywhere. Learn, grow in the maturity. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, we have a problem. These guys who sit in front of the church, yeah, mm -hmm. most of them who have surrounded the, 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 the set man, mm -hmm. I wonder sometimes, mm -hmm. you say, man of God, how did these leaders find themselves into leadership? They were appointed by you. 
Yeah, yeah, they were appointed by you. So if yes, they were what appointed were you by considering? you, who are robbers, which means also... What you are you? There is what a question were you mark. considering? Have you, have you seen? Because yes, in leadership yes. now, Betty, mm -hmm. we have people who are buying leadership mm -hmm. now. Yes. Bribing. And the those pastor. robbers are the ones who are going to succeed you when you are gone. Now, where is that ministry going to go? It's going to die naturally, as it you said. It will die a natural death. Yes. Now, what I'm saying is, <laughs> some people, they 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 bribe their spiritual leaders. Spiritually, they you also know, bribe. I'm bribe. telling you. <laughs> do you pay your leaders? Bishop, which he really does now in the church? Because why would I bribe to be there? I thought leadership responsibility comes with too much work. Yes. Because if you mention, actually, you had said you have fifty-seven churches. Yeah. You have fifty-seven churches in Kenya alone. Yeah. You also have some churches outside the country. Yeah. That means you have to be up and about a lot of time, yeah. and you cannot do this alone. No wonder you appointed many leaders also yeah. to help you. Yeah. With this kind of responsibility, you have to be away from family. Yeah. You have to be away from maybe formal employment. How can you bribe your way into this if you're not earning anything? Let me tell you. Mm. There's some people who are possessed with being in power. <laughs> because for one... In the church. Possessed and because, oppressed. Huh? Because for me, what? Possessed and oppressed. Mm, because for me, <laughs> I don't understand from what perspective <laughs> somebody can come uh -huh. to bribe me uh -huh. to put him in leadership. For one reason. Yes. What kind of leadership am I putting you in? I wonder. Pastor, there is one thing you must do? understand, mm -hmm. and I am repeating this. Mm -hmm. A leader is somebody you understand, you move with him in the spirit, you pray, you walk together in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because if this leader, you are not walking with him in the spirit, mm -hmm. do you know why the church is dying today? Because tomorrow you wake up, because somebody came and became, he's, he's talking about that age. Somebody can come and become so well after six months. Tighting very well. Mm -hmm. Then after those six months, he turns around him, he becomes... A robber. A robber. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Because already you have appointed him into a certain position. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This somebody must have served you in a period, a longer period. Yes. So one of the qualifications when I'm hearing is yeah. they've got to be a faithful tither. And they've got to have been in the church for, for how long? For me, mm -hmm. now like in my yes, church, yes. if I appoint you as a leader, yes. you must have served with me for more than one year. For more than one year? Yeah. Yeah, one year is a short time to pretend. I mean, it's not a long time. I, I, if I, I am a pretender, <laughs> I just pretend. I know what you want even, and I also know what I want. So even one if year, you come, I will keep up to your standards until then. Even if you come, you tell me, yes. like him, he comes to my church. Mm -hmm. He tells me I'm a pastor. Mm -hmm. To me, mm -hmm. he has to sit under me. Okay. For a whole year, mm -hmm. for him to qualify to go okay. to the altar. Okay. One other thing I need to know from you, men of God. Yeah. You have appointed this leader, or rather this leader you are looking to appoint from the leadership and the members of your church. Must they have the same traits and character as you who is being succeeded? Uh, listen, babe. Because there are people mm. who not only have a vision, like Bishop said, mm. Mm. but there is a way they have planted themselves mm. into the members. Mm. They did not plant the mm. word of God. Mm. They did not establish Jesus mm. in the lives of the people. Mm. They established themselves. Mm. How comfortable are you to now take somebody else mm. to be the leader of these same people mm. Who, and this person is not agreeing with you or some of the things that you do. You see, Betty, Can you possibly do that? You see, Betty, mm. let, me, let, me, let me say this. Mm. Um, for the voice of the church mm -hmm. to be heard mm -hmm. worldwide, the church cannot be, you know, cannot afford to remain poor. That's number one. I'm saying, for the voice of the church to be heard worldwide the church cannot afford to remain poor okay okay i have heard you now i have heard you very well having, i am just afraid that time is having, really flying having said, <laughs> having said that having said that this is what the points the bishop is bringing out mm -hmm. they are very key yes the points pastor is bringing out they are very key mm -hmm. you know you may have 
you know, all those qualities, you may go into prayer and fasting to appoint a leader. You mm -hmm. may do this, you may mm -hmm. do that, you mm -hmm. may do that. Mm -hmm. But you know, a lot of pastors, they have allowed, yeah, robbers, they have allowed and they have appointed wrong people into leadership based on something. something. But you see, in that, that case, if the church has got to be rich and go far, I would even appoint people who are not born again. Now, I would consider you, their pockets. You, 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 you'd find that mm -hmm. there are so many pastors, Betty. The fact that I have eaten breakfast as a pastor today, it doesn't mean that another pastor has eaten breakfast. Mm -hmm. There are so many, if there is a, a person who is vulnerable, if there, 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 there are people who are, who are, who are, who are, who are discouraged, yeah? Mm -hmm. Her pastors, mm -hmm. who are dying with depression, are pastors. pastors. Oh, no. You get the point? So, so sad. So and sad if people, the of God. And we have had some people mm -hmm. who have appointed, they, have, they haven't prayed, they haven't done, any of this, mm -hmm. uh, done anything. Mm -hmm. They have just appointed somebody based on tribal lines. This is, this is really, really interesting. Unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> time has gone. just told us, you guys, it's interesting, uh, yes. but you can't carry on. Yeah. I really, really wanted to hear more. Uh -huh. And so I want to hear your mm. parting shots, mm -hmm. even on this. Mm. Yes, I will begin with you, Bishop Nyambisa. My parting shot mm. is this. Mm -hmm. The church needs a quality leadership, a proper relationship with the God. Okay. Let us start with the God and finish with the God. Okay. The only problem which comes to the church is that we start with the God and we finish with the body. The flesh. Amen. Thank you. God said to Joshua, do not let this book depart from your mouth. So it means the book, which is the Bible, the word of God, should be in your mouth. You know, when you put water in your mouth and it's time for you to speak, water will spill out. Okay. Because there is water. And God is saying, do not let this book depart from your mouth. Yeah? So, we, this book, the book of life, to all the leaders, it should enter into our mouth. It is out of that that we are going to, 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 to see that this person, truly, is a genuine follower. Paul said, unto Timothy, my true son in the faith, unto Timothy, my true son. So if you may have a true son, you may also have a false son or false daughter. But I pray that may God bring us to the point of maturity, the point of understanding, so that the church moves forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, on the point of succession, actually God said, I have seen David, the man who has my own heart. So when we think about appointing a leader or a successor, we have to think of, does he really have the heart of God? Does he really have the true word of God? Does he really have a true salvation? If we check those qualifications, then when we appoint this person, we can know very clearly, ah, the person whom we are appointing has the heart of God. And if he's having the heart of God, God is going to work through him. But then uh, many people and uh, in the Christian fraternity, you know, there are many, many people who have been appointed through qualification, through education, through many ways, but they don't have the heart of God. That is why the church is going astray. I hope that, you know, we can go to the Bible and get the qualification of God from the Bible. Then if someone doesn't pass this qualification, you tell them, no, okay. you're not qualified. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. It has been God wonderful. Bless you. God bless thank you, Bishop. I truly appreciate it. And thank you thank for you. coming.
Thank you, viewer. It has been really lovely to listen to the advice from the men of God concerning leadership succession inside the church. We have made many mistakes even as a nation, as a people, just choosing people anyhow, depending on what you could get from them. But we have been given guidelines. Let's go back to the Bible and get the right way. I have been your host. My name is Betty Akuku. Thank you for having been together with us. We have also enjoyed a lovely comfort from the Kenya Asian industry along Mombasa Road. You could get them from there. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.